What's going on nation and welcome to Strictly Strength Power Push. This is another 12 week program similar to the last one we did which was Strictly Strength Power Back. So you can actually do both of these together in your current workout routine. Now I have my friend Cliff here with me, you guys know him, he's been with SHF for about how long now, five years? Five years. Hey Nation. <laughs> so he's going to be here to help me out. Whenever you're doing a push routine and you're working with some heavy weight, you want to make sure you have somebody there to spot you because above all else, you want to get strong, but you don't want to get hurt. Definitely. So the way this routine is going to work is we're going to be doing three exercises. For each exercise, we're going to be doing five sets of three repetitions. The way those sets are going to work is the first two are going to be climbing warm-up sets followed by three working sets. And what those climbing warm-up sets are, not a warm-up set in the sense where you're doing super light weight, you're going to use heavy weight but they're not going to be as intense as the working ones. So you want to gradually be increasing the weight. You want to take a rest period throughout this routine, I mean theoretically you can rest as long as you want. I personally am going to do a minimum of one minute, a maximum of five minutes. And then also, we're going to be timing this routine as we do it because I'm doing the entire thing from start to finish so you guys can see just how long it takes and how intense it is. This routine is also going to be worked with a phased approach. We're doing phase one. If you want to see the other phases, I'll list those in the info section below. Keep track of your weights. Try to increase the overall poundage every time you do this routine whether it's overall by adding up all the sets together or by increasing the max amount of weight you do on your working sets. So, you ready to get started? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, so the first exercise you're gonna do is a standing overhead barbell press. I already have the bar set up with uh, 35 on each side, so that's 115. We're gonna be doing our climbing warm-up sets and then we're gonna go into our working sets. Yeah! <laughs> 
exercise is going to be a barbell incline back and press. All right, so moving on to the next exercise, which is the incline barbell bench press. Now, just like the first exercise, two warm climbing sets, gradually keep increasing the weight for the next three working sets. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Now remember guys, you want to be keeping track of the weight you're doing each set. So if you don't have a notebook, get one, use your smartphone and write it down because you either want to be doing just as good as you did the first time you did this routine or increase the weight the next time you come back and try it again. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like a nice pump going on. I feel strong. Hands feel real tight in the bar. I love working with chalk when I train. Cliff's doing a good job. Not spotting me right now. I'm just feeding off his energy. I'm being an energy vampire. Good energy. Alright, good. The good energy. When I incline, when I do any kind of bench pressing, what I like to do is get the shoulders down, pull them back, keep them nice and tight, and I try to keep that elbow torso alignment as straight as I can, and come down and try to get a 90 degree angle, so, I mean, I don't bench up here, I bench down here, I'm a lot stronger that way. And that's what we're gonna focus on, this lift. This is the last set, we're gonna go 225 for three reps, then we're gonna move on to flat bench. <laughs> Alright, now let's move on to the last exercise, which is going to be a flat barbell bench press. Alright, so the final exercise you're going to be doing is going to be your flat bench. Once again, two climbing warm up sets, then three working sets. I know for me right now, I'm already looking at this weight. Normally, I can work with 185 pretty easy, but you're starting to fatigue. It's the whole point of this. You're taking your rest periods, but you might not be able to lift as much as you would if you just started on the flat bench. So work with as much weight as you can, keep track of it, and then just make no excuses and keep increasing the weight. Right? Got it. Exactly. So I'm gonna work with 185. I'm gonna see how it feels. Then I'm gonna try to jump up pretty quick go to uh, 205, 225, and hopefully end around higher than 225. Mm -hmm. So as you guys have probably noticed throughout this routine, Cliff hasn't had to do too much work. I mean, the goal of this routine is for you to do the work, not your workout partner. Cliff is more like my insurance policy. He's gonna make sure that I don't die. He's gonna make sure that if, I, if the weight comes down, that he's there to pick it up just so to help me with my safety. And also too, it's good to have a workout partner because you, know, you guys can talk 
Cliff and I have been talking on the, on the breaks in between each set, talking about how the set went, you know, you're doing a good job, let's raise the weight. So it's nice to have someone there to, to kind of energize with, but you know, he's the, insur he's the insurance policy, he's not doing the set for you. That's right. So with that being said, touch my weight. Just like you. <laughs> Alright guys, let's set two. probably noticing when doing a strength routine compared to a muscle building routine is that number one the sets uh, the reps are a lot lower we're only doing three repetitions but you're also noticing that the speed at which we do it or the tempo is more like a 111 or a 101 you guys have seen some of the other routines that were released like Zeus chest we did a 224 tempo and we're going for the maximum time under tension for the muscle for here, we're focusing on power, so we're just focusing on controlling the weight on the way down and on the way up, but we're not trying to hang too long in any of those eccentric or concentric motions, so more like a 101 or a 111 tempo. Let's finish up strong. Fist bump. of your weights as you do this routine and try to increase and you know progress each time you do it and let us know in the comment section below what you think and what kind of results you're getting for more great exercises routines and tips feel free to join us at scottrunfitness.com and as always more good stuff coming soon see you guys